Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all tuning into this video. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. Hopefully you go into the new year with a good headspace and you stay motivated with the goals that you possibly have set for the new year. In this video, I figured I'd share with you one of my favorite camp locations for 2023. I have many others that I enjoy, but this is one of them that I figured I'd share with everyone because it is a good one. And there's a few reasons why it's a good one. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head to the location. The location will be right over here from Vault 76, right by Oregon Cave West, which Oregon Cave West is a new location that was recently added into the game when they introduced the new Atlantic City Expedition. So yeah, this location made this camp spot even better for a few reasons. Let's go ahead and fast travel over there. All right, so here we are over at the location. And the reason why this spot's such a good spot over here is because you can place a junk extractor over here. If you go to your resources, you will notice that a junk extractor is available to place and it can be placed right here. And you can also place a wood extractor here too, which you could pick 40 wood from the wood extractor over time slowly generates wood scraps but what's crazy also is if you had this camp here before they added in the update for the new Atlantic City DLC you can actually add three extractors which is just insane I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that uh, I'm pretty sure they may patch this glitch in the future because this is you know a glitch right now that's happening we're not technically supposed to have three extractors I'm gonna go ahead and just make room right here However, um, the reason why we can have three extractors is because this over here used to be where the wood extractor would be placed. Instead, they moved the logs here for the wood extractor over to here and made room for the cave system that leads down into Oregon Cave, which this place is extremely creepy. I don't know if you guys have explored the Oregon Cave, but it is pretty creepy to say the least. But anyways... Um, check this out. I'm able to place another wood extractor over here. I just have to delete more of my building Which is fine. I can remake this It's definitely worth it because I can get even more scrap now Over time. I'm sure Bethesda will patch this eventually of course, but right now it is a little glitch in the game Because of the update that they did see check it out Pretty awesome, but keep in mind, this is only for people that had a camp here before with the wood extractor already in place of where it's supposed to be. If you didn't, you're only gonna be able to get two, but still, two is great as well. You'll still be able to get a junk extractor and a wood extractor here. They just switched it up because they updated this location. And by the way, if you are looking for other resource camps where you can place down extractors, I'll have a link to a dedicated video where I went over 10 other locations of where you can place down two uh, resource extractors at the place. Or there's water nearby with a resource extractor. I kind of switched it up. But I made sure there will be two resources you can gather at each of the locations. Once again, I'll have that video in the description if you're looking for other resourceful camp locations. But yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys a tour of this place. And for those of you wondering, are you even able to still place your camp here since they did add this location at this area? And, well, yeah, as you can see, you are able to still. And the wood extractor will go right here. Once again, you just got to go over to your resources. And you can put your wood extractor right there. And your junk extractor right over here. And here's what the place looks like. It's like a junkyard scrap area. Honestly, a pretty neat idea would be like a whole little entrance or something to the new Oregon Cave. Like you can make a decked out entrance to this cave from your building or something. I don't know. Yeah, I would love to know some of your guys' favorite locations. This is just one of my favorite locations. Figured I'd just make a quick video over this spot. I would love to know some of your guys' favorite locations if you want to share them. Um, but yeah, also, uh, I wanted to show you all something really quick that I've been working on before I wrap up this video. Um, I'm hoping to have this finished sometime soon, very soon. As you can see, I'm actually recreating Nuketown 
from Call of Duty Black Ops with another person. And we plan on having some custom PvP matches when this gets done. Like, we all wear no armor, we don't have perk cards on, and we just use basic weapons, like a regular handmade rifle and a sniper rifle or something. No legendaries or nothing, so we're not bullet sponges. But yeah, this is how the recreation is going so far. I'll give you all a quick tour of this place. This is one building. The windows up there. And then cross street is the other building. Here's a little bit of the outside. We added some filler buildings too, just like in Nuketown. But our budget is becoming really tight. We really only have enough room for the um, bus and truck and maybe some extra details up here. It's very empty up there. But yeah, we've literally been copying what exactly it looks like in Black Ops. We've been looking at a video that I made just touring uh, Nuketown in Black Ops and trying to replicate it in Fallout 76. That's where the truck's going to go and then we're going to have the bus too. But yeah, this is it so far. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. I'm actually streaming creating this as well over on my Twitch. And we're going to be grinding events too and launching a bunch of nukes just to celebrate going into the new year. If you guys want to join and come hang out for a little bit, that would be greatly appreciated. I'll have a link down below in the description to my Twitch channel. I'd be greatly appreciated if you can stop by and maybe give it a follow or heck, uh, subscribe if you're feeling you know generous or enough or whatever. That would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Once again, I hope you guys have a great new year for 2024. But I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.